child of God, all of the mockers, all those that laughed at you, those that ridiculed you and made jest of you, they will see the hand of God. Yes, the Lord of hosts, the God that is the mighty in battle, they will see the way he would consume each and every one of them from the face of the earth. And they will know that you serve a living God in the mighty name of Jesus. They will know that your God is all powerful and never would they fight against you ever again in the mighty name of Jesus. God will perform a strange act. He will do a strange work against the enemies and everything that they have done against you, everything that they have used to afflict you, the things, the instrument that they had used to bring you down, dear child of God, they would be destroyed. God would destroy each and every one of them and you would enjoy your life. Yes, you will see breakthrough and you will see the blessings of God all the way. The wrath of God is coming upon all of the enemies that stood against you, that said you will not succeed in life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word of God in Isaiah 28 verse 22 says, Now therefore be ye not mockers, lest your bands be made strong. For I have heard from the Lord God of hosts a consumption, even determine upon the whole earth. He said a consumption is coming upon the mockers. Yes, they had been warned not to mock you. They were warned not to be against you. They were warned not to ridicule you. But they continued. Now the consumption from God, the mighty strange act of God is coming out and every one of them will see it and be consumed. It says a consumption from the Lord of hosts is coming and it is determined upon the whole earth. Wherever they are, wherever the enemies are, wherever they have been locking, wherever they may have been hiding, dear child of God, today the wrath of God will meet them where they are and they will be consumed. Every single one that said you would not enjoy your life, every single one that said you would not enjoy your well-being, they would be getting the heavy blows from the Lord. Yes, he would do something strange against each and every one of them and none of them would be able to recover. In Jesus' mighty name, it says, For the Lord shall rise up as in Mount Perazim. Dear child of God, today, as found in Isaiah 28 verse 21, the Lord is arising for you. The Lord is standing for you and is going to bring down all the enemies, all those that stood against you, all those that fought against your life, all those that were a pain in your neck. Dear child of God, the Lord is rising today and he would bring each and every one of them down. He says, It shall be wrath as in the valley of Gibeon, that he may do his strange work, my God, that he may do his work, his strange work. Dear child of God, they would experience a strange punishment from the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. He said they would be wounded suddenly because the sudden blow, the sudden punishment from God is coming upon each and every one that had stood against you. Yes, they did not want you to succeed. They told you night and day that they would be a pain in your neck. They threatened you, but today it is coming to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God has said, who wants to stand against my own? No one can stand against you, dear child of God, because everyone who tries to stand against you, they are standing against God and God will deal with each and every one of them. He said to you, if I am for you, who can be against you? And the answer is nobody. No power from the pit of hell, no power of darkness can ever succeed against you. And today the Lord is rising up for you. The Lord is rising up for you to make sure that they are destroyed, to make sure his wrath is coming upon their life. And today they will see the strange act of God. So cry no more. Wipe the tears off your eyes and lift up your hands in praises to God. Because the more you praise God, the more you will discomfit them. The more you praise God, the more you will break the strength of the mockers. Yes, the more they see that you are saddened, the more they see that the things they are doing against you is getting at you, that is the more they would mock you. That is the more they will laugh at you. That is the more they will ridicule you. But today, it is coming to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord that is excellent in counsel is coming for you and is going to do an excellent work for you. Is going to make sure that every of your enemies, every of your haters, everyone that said you will not enjoy your life today, every single one of them 
they would become a non-existing thing in the mighty name of Jesus. That is because he is going to destroy them. He said, none of them will stand against you anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. They would be consumed for your sake in the mighty name of Jesus. Because they rose against you, because they fought against you, because they afflicted you, God is going to stand against them and they would be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord God had heard your groanings, he heard your cry, he heard everything that you went through and today everything is turning around for your good in the mighty name of Jesus because he had listened to everything you said every of your petitions had gone into his ears and then he said he would do what he heard you say yes you told him you wanted peace you told him you wanted rest you told heaven i just want to enjoy my life god is responding to you right now that you would begin to enjoy your life because all those that stood against you you would not see them anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. He told the people of Israel, the children of God, that the Egyptians you see today, the enemies you see today, you will see them no more. Dear child of God, every single one of them, they will be facing off. Yes, they will be going away from you. They will face off and never be around you. In the mighty name of Jesus, they would be consumed. They would be destroyed. And none of them will stand against you ever again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remember Jesus said in Matthew 28 verse 18. Then he said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. Jesus has the authority. And today is going to subdue the works of darkness. He's saying to you, cheer up because I've overcome the world. He's saying to you, cheer up because the victory is yours. He's saying to you, cheer up because everything they did against you is coming to an end. Dear child of God, from this day, you would have a reason to dance. You would have a reason to rejoice because the Lord God has saved you and the Lord God is going to sustain you in the mighty name of Jesus. You are coming upon that mount where there is deliverance. You are coming upon that mount where your life shall be saved and preserved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and you will begin to possess your possessions. Dear child of God, it is time that you possess your possessions. It is time you get everything that are yours. You cannot be denied your blessings anymore. Those people that stood against you, they would be falling for your sake in the mighty name of Jesus. It says for the Lord shall rise up as in Mount Perazim and he shall be wroth as in the valley of Gibeon and shall do a work, a strange work. He shall bring a strange act against all of your enemies. Today, they will be gone away from you. You would not see them anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. The people that made you to cry, the people that made you to sorrow, the people that left you every day in pains, dear child of God, today, they would be destroyed. And never again, they would regret all of them that stood against you. They would regret fighting you and so it shall be in the mighty name of Jesus. You will see them no more. He said, the enemies you see today, you will see them no more. That is because the Lord is going before you to fight for you. The Lord had risen up before you to make sure everything is changing. Get set to rejoice. Get set to dance. Get set to celebrate because it is done. Because it is settled. And no more shall the enemies raise their ugly heads against you in the mighty name of Jesus. All those that buried you in the miry clay, they would be thrown down and destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. And God himself will lift you up. Dear child of God, you shall be uplifted and you shall reign. You shall reign where God has called you to reign in the mighty name of Jesus. And all the things that may have been taken away from you, all the times you were in pains, all the times you were afflicted, there shall be restoration, complete and absolute restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. As we saw in 1 Samuel 30, that everything that were taken from David and the rest of the people were restored, yes, everything, he recovered them, so you shall recover everything that had been stolen from you. The things the enemies took from you, dear child of God, you would recover them all and you would have reasons to rejoice in the mighty name of Jesus. This is how God will break the bands of the mockers, yes, the strong bands that they had made to afflict you. This is how God would make sure that they are destroyed. They would be consumed as the word of God made us to see in Isaiah 28 verse 22. 
and none of them none of them will rise up against you anymore in jesus mighty name the lord god of all said he had determined this in the old earth and so wherever the enemies are wherever they are troubling you from be it from the east from the north from the south or from the west they would be located and destroyed and every one of them shall be consumed in jesus mighty name god is a consuming fire and is going to bring every single one of them down they shall be discomfited and never again will they rise up against you in jesus mighty name your days of celebration has come you shall be victorious all the way and you shall sing songs of victory because god have done you well in jesus mighty name amen go forth because it is your time to rejoice go forth because it is your time to celebrate go forth because it is your time to dance in jesus mighty name amen it is well with you beloved god bless you and shalom